Welcome to Jack Talk. I'm Luke Hamilton. Today we have a very exciting show for you on this episode. We're going to take a look at the Baptist student ministry here on SFA's campus to find out more about how they spent their spring break helping others. Then we'll get a chance to talk to Mary Frances Bradford, the lay leader at First United Methodist Church, about the upcoming 50th anniversary celebration of the church's sanctuary. And to wrap it all up, you'll get an inside look with two local coffee shops here in Nacogdoches to find out how exactly coffee is roasted. You won't want to miss out, so don't go anywhere because another episode of Jack Talk starts right now. is Mary Frances Bradford, a member and the lay leader of First United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining us, Ms. Bradford. It's, it's a pleasure to have you in today. It's welcome. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Would you go ahead and tell our audience just kind of your role um, in the church as the lay leader and your experience so far? Well, the, the lay leader is just a member of the congregation who uh, is responsible for working directly with the pastors uh, to carry out some of the missions of the church as well as to talk to the congregation and then convey information back to the pastors. So it's, uh, we just facilitate uh, working with uh, both the congregation and the pastors. And so from that role's perspective, um, with the 50th anniversary mm -hmm. coming up, the community obviously is really excited about it. Uh, how excited are you to, to celebrate coming this far with, with the sanctuary? Oh, absolutely. It is very exciting. It's very exciting to hear all the stories that we've been, uh, members that were there at the time and uh, some of the things that they've been talking about and the uh, mementos that they've brought back to the church that they've shared with us. Now we've talked about the sanctuary. Uh, it's got a lot of memorabilia with it. We talked about the bell tower and seeing in that, in that package those stained glass windows are absolutely gorgeous. They are. Um, and some of those are taken from the old church, correct? That's correct. Uh, they saved those from the 1910 church, as well as some of the, re the bricks from that church, and they used those uh, to commemor commemorate that church, as well as to preserve that history. And you came to United Methodist Church uh, a while back, uh, even before the sanctuary was built. So yes. uh, from your perspective, uh, a lot of different things have happened in that sanctuary, weddings, uh, services, and you even said it's a place where you grew up. Absolutely. Uh, I joined in 1964, so uh, I went through junior high and high school and college there, and then uh, got married there and then moved away, and I came back in 1994, and so it was a place where I grew up, and uh, our everybody hung out there, and we had a great time, and then later in life, uh, the church is there to be a different role, and so it... Uh, it serves all ages. All right, and just looking at the sanctuary, I can see why so many want to get married there. It's, uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. It mm -hmm. absolutely is. And at the end of the day, this is just brick. It's just mortar. It's just glass. Where do you want to see the sanctuary take the community in the next 50 years? Well, I think the church is such a huge part of our community. It's a part of our individual spiritual lives as well as the congregation. But it's a huge part of our community because that what, that's what connects us with everybody. Right. And outside of the church community, what would you say that this sanctuary means to the Nacogdoches community as a whole? Well, uh, every day I come into town and I see the steeple when I drive into town on the west side. And that tells me that this is a community of faith. And I know that the people here care about each other. And they care about the community and the world at large. Right. And this celebration is happening April 7th. You guys are doing uh, your services a little bit different. How is this celebration going to happen for you guys? Well, typically we have two services, one at 830 and one at 11, and then we have Sunday school in between. Because this is going to be such a big celebration, we're going to have one service. It's going to be at 10 o'clock, and it will be... Uh, the original 1969 celebration or dedication, they had the bishop come and talk. So we're going to have our current bishop, Bishop uh, Jones, come back, and he's going to do a, a ceremony at the service. And so it's going to be lots of uh, meaning to the service. And then we will have a uh, very nice luncheon served afterwards. So it's going to be a day of celebration. 
Well, it sounds like a great opportunity for you guys it to be able to celebrate. It's come a long way. 50 it has, years absolutely. For just the sanctuary and, and the church as a whole so much longer. Oh, yes. Uh, than just that. We appreciate you coming in, Ms. Oh, Bradford. you're most welcome. It was welcome. an absolute pleasure. Uh, to find out more about the 50th anniversary or other events going on at the church, you can follow First United Methodist on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That is at F-U-M-C-N-A-C. When we come back, grab your favorite cup of coffee and hold on tight because we are taking a closer look at how local coffee shops roast their coffee beans. So stay tuned.